What's going on guys? Cameron here with Attack on Anime and I'm going to be doing a manga review. Now the manga in question is called Claymore. Claymore has about 150 chapters, but as of the time of recording this video, I'm about 62 chapters in. This review will only pretty much cover the first volume, which is the first four chapters, which set up which set up the world, explaining to you how everything works, and uh, there's no really like spoilery things, but if there is, I'll avoid them. I just want you guys to get the basis of the story to encourage you guys to go out and actually read this, because this manga is actually really good. So without further ado, let's get the review started. Yomar takes place on a fictional medieval island infested with these demons called Yomas. Yomas eat people, take on their identity and their memories to blend into normal society to continue their cycle of eating. Humanity is mostly defenseless until a group called the Organization forms, and when the Organization forms, they start these experiments on boys and girls mixing Yoma blood with human blood, and this creates these things called Claymores, aka Silver Eyed Witches. Now, silver eyed witches would imply that they're all females. This means that all the boys in the experiments died off. But the girls, the girls that survived were called claymores, and they go around and they hunt these demons for money. Now, when they go to villages, they explain to the villagers that if I die during this mission, then you don't have to pay. But if I succeed in killing however many demons you hired us to kill, you have to pay. But if you don't pay me directly, a man in a black suit will come and you pay him. Now, if the village doesn't pay, if they don't pay enough, or if they just, like, give the money to the wrong person, then the Claymores will not, they don't mess with that village no more. Like, they will, they will leave that village high and dry no matter how many demons inv invade it. Now, as for our main characters, when we start the story, we follow a young boy named Rocky. Or Lucky, depending on how you pronounce it. But in the, in the manga, it says Rocky, so we're just going to go with Rocky. We follow Rocky, and he's a young boy in the village, and he hears that his village is about to hire a claymore to come handle their Yoma problem. And his, his interest is so piqued because he's never seen one, he's only heard of stories of them, and he's just so interested because he's, he's a young boy, so his imagination is running wild. He's just like, how do, these, how do these girls just go around fighting these demons without any type of fear or hesitation? Like, he's just so interested to meet, well, actually meet one of them. He wants to meet them and learn as much about them as he can. Now, when their when their claymore named Claire arrives, she's she's blank faced, like not really. She doesn't really express anything. She's just like there to do her job, pretty much. Like that's what she does. She's so used to it now; it doesn't even matter. She just comes to the village and she's just like, "All right, I'm I'm gonna use my silver eyes." Their silver eyes help them to differentiate between who's human and who's yoma. That's how they can just pick out who's who's who, and they know which one is the yoma. So when she gets to the village, she's just like, okay, I'm about to start looking. And then she tells him about the, the payment system and all that. And Rocky tries to go up and talk to her. And he's just like, oh my God, like, what's your name? Like, what? He's just asking her all these questions. And she's just like, you don't need to know a name that will soon be forgotten. And she's pretty much just saying, you don't need to know my name. I'm just here to do my job. And then I'm going to leave. And you're never going to see me again, probably. But Rocky doesn't give up. He follows her all around. And even after she slays the demon, he follows her outside of the village to try to, like, get her name. And this girl is just like, oh, my God, this kid is still following me. Like, she was just, like, she's just so confused of how someone, like, is not afraid of her. Because most of the humans she encounters are afraid of her, even though she's there to help them. She Humans still fear her because she's still half demon. So they're always uh, kind of cautious. They're like... Here you go. They're just trying to be like really nice to her, but they're like really timid and afraid because they don't know what she's thinking or what what that half demon part can actually do. They're just like oh, we 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 fear those demons more, but we still are afraid of you. So right, so when she's like, okay, this kid is really not afraid of me. So she, then that's when she reveals her name to him to be Claire. And he starts following her still, and she's just like, okay, if you're going to follow me, you got to be of some use to me. Can you cook? And, she, and he's just like, yes. And then she's like, all right, you're my chef now. And then that's how their, that's how their journey kind of starts. And one night when they're camping out, and she's, she's sitting here, and they're, Rocky's still not really sure what, uh, what full, she doesn't, he doesn't fully understand what a Claymore really is. And when she starts talking, she starts telling him things like, we have this pact between us as claymores that if if we use too much of our power, when they use too much of their power and they go past their what they call their limit, 
they awaken. And then that pretty much is when they go full demon. And they can't come back from that. And that's when the other claymores are sent out to kill them if they awaken. So when he's telling her that, he's really put off by that. He's just like, how, how can you guys kill your own? You guys are comrades. You guys are friends. And he's really put off by that. But she's just like, no, that's just, that's just the way it is. We'd rather... We'd rather die while we still have our human heart. And that that part is actually where I really got interested into this manga. Because up until then, I was interested in it. I was just like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see where this goes. But that, that was the part that really got me attached. Because this actually goes into why they, they are doing what they do. They're like, we're going to help humans as much as we can while we can. Like, as long as we're still the, the half and half that we are, we're going to do all that we can to help people. And that's just showing why they want to preserve their humanity as long as possible. And that's the part that really got me attached to this manga. But that's where I'm going to end this review, guys. And I encourage you guys to go out and read this manga. It's really good. I want to finish it as quickly as possible. I want to see how this ends because at the point I'm at right now, it, it's getting real. It's getting really, really real. Like, these characters are dying left and right. But I'm about to sign off, guys. I'm about to go read more of this manga, actually. So, until next time, guys, I'm out.